सर इट इज सम टाइम नियरली थ्री मंथ्स सिंस आई हैड द अपॉर्चुनिटी ऑफ स्पीकिंग इन दिस हाउस एट लेंथ ऑन द प्रोविशंस ऑफ दिस बिल एज इट वॉज ओरिजिनली प्रेजेंटेड टू द लोकसभा ऑनरेबल मेम्बर्स मे रिकॉल द जनरल डिस्कशन ऑन द फ्लोर ऑफ दिस हाउस एंड द अप्रेजल विच वॉज गिवन टू द बिल ड्यूरिंग द पीरियड दैट द बिल हैज बीन बिफोर द पार्लियामेंट इट हैज बीन सब्जेक्टेड टू अ वाइड वेराइटी ऑफ कमेंट्स बाय इंडिविजुअल्स एंड इंस्टीट्यूशंस रिप्रेजेंटिंग वेरियस शेड्स ऑफ ओपिनियन दीज हैव ऑल बीन टेकन इन टू कंसिडरेशन and after due deliberation certain amendments were proposed by the government these have been considered and incorporated in the bill as passed by the lok sabha honorable members are undoubtedly aware of the various provisions of the bill as originally introduced the provisions were explained briefly in the explanatory memorandum issued by my ministry and circulated to honorable members a further note explaining the various taxation proposals in greater detail was also subsequently circulated i will not therefore weary the house by going into these provisions again and shall therefore dwell chiefly on the salient features of the amendments that were incorporated in the bill during the passage on the lok sabha sir so far as personal taxation is concerned the main emphasis of the critics has been against the lowering of the exemption limit on personal income tax and the reduction of the income tax burden on the higher slabs of income on these points i have been at pains to explain the objectives of our taxation policy i had mentioned in my budget speech that the main reason for reduction in the existing rates at the higher levels of income was that in practice very high rates of direct taxation at the top brackets of income tend to erode the tax base and encourage tax evasion it is no doubt true that the maximum rate of income tax and super tax applicable to the top brackets of income is proposed to be reduced from about 92% to a little less than 77% for earned incomes and 84% for unearned incomes but this reduction in marginal rates is not to be viewed in isolation under the tax pattern income tax does not stand by itself it is supplemented by the wealth tax and the expenditure tax